TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 2 p.m. update, a mixed bag. The Dow's off 114 points, while the S&P is up 8. NASDAQ 100 up 60. Russell's up 18. Semis are up 34. Tranny's 39. Gold trade down 37.80. It's trading into support. That is the center of its daily and weekly profiles. Uh, silver is trading, even though it's off a buck, it's trading into the support of its uh, weekly bullish structured profile out there. Natural gas is off a nickel. Uh, let's go take a look at our market indice charts out here we'll begin momentarily by taking a look at the uh, actually let's do this here there was a question to take a look at the nasdaq composite so i'm going to pull that chart over to the screen out here and as we take a look at the nasdaq composite what do we see out here well you can see it's got a, a roads momentum indicator top that was way back on november 22nd uh, price yesterday it's back into an area where it is previously found a bottom so it's a td9 count bottom so the level to be watching there would be a close below 1493106 that would take that pattern out and then suggest to move back to 14699 so that's the message of the nasdaq composite as long as uh, so here's an interesting message i didn't expect to see this um and when i say that i'm referring to the new york stock exchange there's actually two charts in the new york stock exchange that should give all sellers and buyers a little bit of pause. What's that? So here yesterday, the uh, New York Stock Exchange confirms a sell the D point, confirms a TD9 count pattern, and all price has been able to do is get back to that green oscillator and change line. So the New York Stock Exchange signal is neutral. It's not bearish. Now, the interesting thing here, I'm going to switch over out of, out, off of these charts into my black background chart where we take a look at the advanced decline oscillator because I didn't expect to really see this today either. This is that what you'll see here as soon as I get to this chart is that the advanced decline oscillator reading is still above zero, never got down below zero out here. And that's a signal you're looking at panel number two. That is a signal that buyers are the ones in control of the market out there. So very interesting. Now, if buyers are really in control, control of the market then what we should see out here and we'll take a look at the S&P and the uh, Nasdaq real quickly here here in the Nasdaq you can see you've got three time frames that are bearish low from its task market profiles but not the weekly now if we take a look at the S&P 500 come on work with me the S&P 500 is bullish for three of the four time frames a time frame that it's not as the 240 it's got to make you say hmm something to think about Folks, stay tuned. David White is up next. I'll see you tomorrow on Fantastic Friday. Have a terrific Thursday, folks. The reality.